Let's look at the sequence of a typical auto reclose relay for the transient fault. Here's a typical feeder circuit. As we said previously, the auto reclose relay normally uses the same current transformers as the protection system. Let's now close the circuit breaker. As soon as the circuit breaker closes, the current on the feeder will increase. Let's now simulate a transient fault on the feeder. The current will now increase due to the fault, and the protection relay will pick up. We start the auto reclose sequence. The circuit breaker is now tripped, and the circuit breaker contacts open. The current now reduces, and after a short time delay, the arc will be extinguished. After the fixed time, we reset the protection system automatically. We then try and reclose the circuit breaker. Once the circuit breaker is closed, the current starts flowing again. The duration of the time from when the arc was extinguished to when the current starts flowing again is when the circuit was dead. We therefore identify this as the dead time, and is effective for the time from when the circuit breaker contacts open to when they close again. This is a known factor for most circuit breakers, and depends on the circuit breaker design and the type of mechanism. After the current starts flowing again, and we don't detect any further faults, we reset the auto reclose system, and it goes back to its original state. The difference in time between when the current starts flowing and the system resets is called the reclaim time. This is the time during which we check to make sure the system is healthy. Both the dead time and the reclaim time are adjustable settings that we can apply to the auto reclose system.